Hey guys, Operator7 here. Welcome to the video review of the APC9K from Arrow Arms, or should I say Aris, or should I say um, some other brand? Well, yeah, that's a very good question. Who makes this, uh, who builds and manufactures this um, uh, replica? Basically, I can tell you already that the old, um, yeah, spoiler, that all the internals are Aris, basically. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I do believe this is Aris, but it, given that they don't have a license from BNT, it has been uh, kind, of, kind of a contentious um, subject around the Airsoft community. Uh, actually, it's really rare to see these on sale right now. I think there was some, you know, court cases flying around. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, we Airsofters were kind of, you know, got the wrong end of the whole situation uh it's really hard to find some of the parts uh it was it's even hard to find the the the, the replica itself on most shops at least here in the uk uh and also some of them were sold with markings with the, just like the real one some of them were completely didn't have anything on the receiver mine was one of those so what i've done is i've lasered on myself some of the markings it doesn't it's not amazing but it does the job for me i'm happy with it as it is so this gun retailed well when my partner got it for me i think it was around 329 pounds now i think it's only available in a couple of shops here in the uk i'll leave a link in the description if i find any uh, you can still find, uh, I think they're widely available, the mags, and I think the suppressor that should be, I think, Bespoke Airsoft, this is where I got mine, uh, which it doesn't come out of the box. Out of the box, what you'll get is the, are these three mags, so you've got like a mid-cap, a uh, uh, low mid-cap, and a low low cap. Basically, I think this is a 90 round, I'm, I'll check afterwards, I think this is, um, say, um, 70 or 50 rounds this is like a 30 round mag uh, they're really cool they look really different they make they make the gun look different as well uh, what i've done here was i i uh when i had the 3d printer i printed myself a mag coupler it also looks really good and it's great for speed reloads so i mean the options with this gun are just amazing um uh, also another couple uh, another couple of things i've done other than the suppressor um i've also replaced the um basically came with this uh, grip which is exactly like the real steel one it is a really slim i liked how aries uh been able to do this actually another telltale sign that this is aries is the fact that the motor that came inside was an aries motor <laughs> which i actually sold but i have photos of it um yeah it was a high torque it was quite good but i do prefer that uh, more um, that pts grip it just it just feels better on, on my hands um yeah, so continuing, I did the grip, uh, installed the grip. So it, it will take any long shaft V2 motor. Actually, the whole gearbox, even though it's such a small body, very versatile, very compact, really cool for CQB, but not just. Uh, this, uh, you know, it fits a full v version 2 uh, motor inside, which is really good. Uh, in this case, it has an Iris motor with the with their blue uh, little... Um, chip thing or um, electronic trigger unit um, also another thing I've done as I mentioned to you I went to Bespoke Airsoft thank you uh, and I got this uh, suppressor uh, and as you can see uh, a change that I've done to the, to the gun was basically also from Bespoke Airsoft I, I mean uh, they're not paying me for this but you know the guy's really nice so I, I have to reference him uh, he sold me another hop unit which these are really rare I think only uh, the Am Amoeba, there's an L link in the description as well, uh, Mutant, I think it's the new ones, they have this same, uh, the ones that have the interchangeable barrels, they have this hop-up, so it's not a regular, this is probably where the, the, the V2 compatibility ends, it's not a regular V2 hop uh, unit, but this is a really, really, really short uh, uh, inner barrel as you can see it will go all the way there and it's a very compact uh, gun it shoots really well out of the box i think this barrel if you're going doing doing cqb perfect good enough i was um, unfortunately echelon airsoft great site kind of close there's no way not a lot of places for me to do cqb where i live so i actually i fitted a longer inner barrel mad bull uh, black python i hope very much recommend them with a 
uh, purple Prometheus uh, hopper over, and it now shoots really far. Actually, people got surprised how far and how well this gun shoots right now. It is amazing. I really like it. Trigger response is okay. Probably not as best as, you know, if I got a gate aster in there. I do not like Gate Titans, and I'll probably do a whole video on that one after. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, it, it's still quite good. Um, I mean, other than that, I think that one of the coolest things, other than the fact that it's got the uh, collab not collapsible or extendable stock, it's you know it's got four positions, fully re fully um, retracted, and then you can are fully collapsed, and then you got one, two. And uh, third position. Uh, I mean, it's really good for, uh, as I mentioned, for longer to short engagements. Um, it just looks the part. Also, I really like the, the charging handles, uh, the charging handle, non reciprocable, which exposes the hop unit. And then you've got the really cool release. It is very well made. It is really, really nice. It also comes with a couple of rails here on this part of the gun. I did remove them because I prefer, I didn't have. You know, I didn't want them there. Uh, I do like how the gun looks right at the moment. Uh, it comes with these uh, uh, um, polymer flip-up sides. They're really nice. They do their job. I did put on a, a, a Vism, NC Star Vism, and I really like how the gun works. Uh, probably one of the my complaints is uh, the fire select. The fire selector it kind of digs in and it moves really really easily this is probably one of my issues with this gun uh, it, I, I get I find myself changing uh, without wanting the the from say from uh, single to full to safe so that's something I would like to see this one sh much much shorter and it kind of wobbles a little bit it goes no, it doesn't wobble it just goes forward and backwards really really easy Another issue I had with this was this pin, uh, the body pin started to come out and I just kind of hammered it in uh, quite softly uh, and then the trigger wouldn't wouldn't go back and forth. So I had to open it and there's a little spring and a little metal plate that came out of place. Uh, I don't know, it's just the way that it's done. It looks a little bit fidgety, but it's working at the moment. Uh, battery space, I think it's a very important thing about this gun. Uh, you'd think, you know, you don't have a lot of battery space, right? If you think about it, uh, but if you think it's not, if it was front wired, but it's not front wired. That's one of the good news. Um, the bad news is, however, <laughs> it's really hard to, to take it, uh, especially on mine. I don't know if others are, are like this, but the pin is really stiff. So during a game, like right now, I'm gonna find it really hard. I'm just gonna get a tool here to help me to remove it. And I think it's really hard to take the pin out. So during games, uh, if your battery dies, yeah, it's not gonna be, <laughs> it's not gonna be easy for you. Right, it's coming off now. As you can see, it, this is the button that you depress to get the, uh, to get the, the, the stock to go back and forth. Let me just see off camera if I can do this, cause it's gonna be easy. Yeah, there we go, it came off. So now, now that I've fully removed the, the body pin, I can, actually, it's not done. No, this is what happens. Right, so here is the, uh, the battery compartment, and it's quite long. Let me get a battery here to show you guys. So this is an 11.1, uh, I think it's 1100. And as you can see, I'm gonna fit it all the way there. So if it's really nice, really snug, and yeah, it does come with Mini Tamiya still, but yeah, it fits really nicely, really snug, and it works. So that's that's one of the good things. It's it does have really good battery space, which I really appreciate it. Just not easy to get in there. I don't know why they've done it this way. By the way, another thing I cannot forget to mention is it does have a quick spring, uh, quick change spring system, which is really good. You just get an Allen key. Um, you know, and unscrew that lit that little thing there, pop it out, and then replace the spring in case it's too hot for your sight. Really good. I really appreciate that as well. As you can see, I mean, the gun just looks phenomenal. I love how it looks. Um, I know that ASG are launching the a APC 5.56 now. It's been announced at Shot Show. I do hope they pick up this license and they come. They continue this. Um, kind of, you know, at least they make it available for airsofters. I hope they are able to work it out with Iris, kind of like, um, you know, making them their supplier or something, because Iris actually got this right 
when it comes down to the quality of the construction, the polymers are solid, the metal receiver is very, the upper is really good. I do like the action here, it works. I mean, some I think probably one of the issues other than the, the fire select, uh, the fire selected, which I think they need to look into, is um, basically when you want to remove a mag, sometimes it's quite hard, a little bit stiff, it's easier if you do it from from the this uh, button here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, other than that, for the price that I got that it, it, that it goes for, and the fact that it is such a nice little gun, it shoots really nicely, and I mean, I'm really really happy with it. Um, I will I will drop uh, as well a video of the chrono of the gun. Right now, it's a little bit. It doesn't look great because it's a little bit disassembled, but it is doing pretty much. I believe 300 and. 30 340 fps which is the legal limit here in the uk and it's very very consistent when it shoots and it's got really good uh, rate of fire as well so I'll, I'll also put that on the video and i just think that this is actually a really good piece um uh, you know of airsoft um yeah a, a, a very soft kit to own and to play with um yeah i mean uh Hope you guys have enjoyed and liked the video. Put your comments down below. Uh, let me know if you have one of these. If you want to have one of them, uh, you never know, ASG or ours might come up with them again. Uh, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, come back and I'll have more reviews soon, hopefully. Thank you, guys.